What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Profoto and today we're going to be discussing beauty dish finishes. I like talking about versus things. I think it's kind of fun to A, B a lot of stuff. That way you have a lot of information on why you'd want to maybe use one thing over the other one. And today I'm just talking about beauty dishes because I think they're fun. They're really, really cool light sources. And I think there's some things that people do wrong when it comes to beauty dishes that I want to talk about. Uh, but also let you know what it is that's going to make the silver beauty dish have the spe specific looks that it has versus ha using something like the white beauty dish. Uh, they function a little differently. So, but they're both pretty fantastic. What's up everybody? Uh, oh, hey, what's up everybody? John, what's up dude? Uh, Michelle, yeah, we were, uh, we have this little card thing up that lets people kind of populate while I'm sharing to the, the global page. So I'm here. It's me. You get to see my face. What's up, everybody? Hey, 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 hey. Um, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three beauty dishes. <laughs> they said three beauty Moera said three beauty dishes. White, silver, and Kate. You're, you're the oh, other beauty dish. Yeah. She's flattered. She's flattered. So, thanks, Moera. So, but what we're talking about today is we're actually going to be talking about the metal beauty dishes. Um, we make the OCF and, uh, in both silver and white. We're not going to necessarily be talking about those today. We're not going to be comparing those. We're just going to be talking about the differences between using the silver one and the white metal beauty dish. Uh, they fall under our hard reflector line. Uh, so a lot of times if you're looking up hard reflectors, these will show up even though they're not necessarily, the te their technical name is a soft light reflector. Um, and we call everything a hard reflector at Profoto because of the material that it's made from. So it's because it's metal, it's a hard reflector. So once again, you have your silver finishes and you have your white finished uh, interior. These are both 22 inches, so they're just under uh, two feet in size they're but they're literally besides the finish they're almost the exact same dish they have this little lip on the inside of them you can't really see but when you're installing it onto the flash head they both stop in the same place i know sometimes i've heard people say i can't get the beauty dish all the way onto the flash head uh it's because there's this little stopper plate there to kind of keep you from jamming it too far into the dish itself so it'll stop uh, on most heads at a position of four. So like if you have your, uh, like your B1 or your D2s or something like that, it'll stop at that, that position right there. So just a heads up, it's got a stopper plate inside of it. Other big things to know other than the color. So just like we've talked about with umbrellas, your silvers are gonna be a lot more punchy. They're gonna be a little more specular. They're also gonna be a touch more focused. So if you're talking about the uh, coverage range, with a silver beauty dish, you're only talking about a 26 degree light spread. Uh, that's what, I mean, this with a pro head with the, with the dome. If you have like a B1 or a D2, you could get the little dome attachment and, and get that as well. They still work really well with the flat front and I'm gonna take photos today with the flat front just so you can see that it still does a great job. So, but with this, you're talking about a, a 26 degree spread. So it doesn't really cover a lot. And I know a lot of times what people will do is they'll try to, they'll try to light an entire subject with a beauty dish not always the best move, especially because what a lot of people will do to, to start getting that coverage is they'll start backing the beauty dish away from the subject. And once you start getting kind of like, like the three to five foot range, you really start to lose some of the characteristics that make a beauty dish really gorgeous. Granted, there's some companies out there that make gigantic beauty dishes that would give you the ability to back that up just a little bit more. But for the most part, you wanna to try to keep this in like the one to four foot range uh, once you, like I said, once you start to back it up, it starts to become more of a harder style reflector. Your shadows are going to be less soft, and at that, and it's a really inefficient modifier because you have to back, you have to bounce off the deflector, get the light around the dish, and then push it forward. So that's one of those things you want to try to not do is back these things up too far. The upside too is for silver because it's so efficient, you're going to get a. Uh, there's going to be you're going to be able to shoot at a little bit lower powers if you need to. So if you're using like a a B1 or you're using a B10 or a B2 or something like that, uh, especially on a location with a battery, you're gonna be able to uh, save a little bit of uh, power because you're gonna be able to turn it down because of your efficiency. The white's not, so, not as efficient. So the white beauty dish is actually still clipped to my B10. Let me unclip this jammer. So, so once again, white interior beauty dish. They both have a lip on them, so uh, you, there's a 24, five degree grid. I can't remember what the grid is off the top of my head, but I think it's 25 degrees. Uh, 
there's a 25 degree grid that you can hook onto the lip of this thing. Uh, it's the same grid for both beauty dishes. The same, it looks the exact same size. And there's also a sock diffuser you can put over both of them. They're the exact same. But your degree spread is much greater with the white beauty dish. And you're gonna see that here too in a second when we take some photos. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see. That way you know what you're looking for. But you're looking at about a 65 degree beam spread with the white beauty dish. So the, the coverage between silver and white is pretty drastic. Um, so if you are maybe trying to photograph somebody and get a little more coverage on the body, the white's probably going to be the better way to go just because you're getting a little more coverage. The nice thing about the silver though, it, it just has a, a touch of punch that is kind of real fun about a beauty dish. I, I really like it myself. And because it's a little more focused, just like it was when we were looking at umbrellas, you're going to be able to kind of spot your light onto your subject a little bit more. I feel like every time I take the dish and like I get it close to my face, it scoops up all my, all my vocal tones and frequencies and shoots them back in my face. It's really weird. So we're gonna photograph with both of them. I'm gonna we're gonna do a couple of different ways. So I've got um, we're gonna we're gonna light them individually, so you can actually just see beauty dish versus beauty dish straight up. And then I also have like a multi light setup that I have that we'll use. So behind you. Uh, right there, actually, behind where my camera's gonna be, there's a four by six softbox setup. It's there to mimic a, just a gigantic fill light, like it's a big window. It's four by six, it's turned uh, six long and four high, so it's, wi it's wider than it is taller. Uh, and that is just gonna give me that coverage that I want across the back. And then I also have a hair light that I'm gonna pop up here. And we're gonna save that for the second part. So that way you can see um, just the beauty dishes for what they are, silver versus white. You know, nothing getting in between that. And then just kind of show you cool looks that you can do with, you know, your beauty dish if you want to. And just kind of maybe inspire. So let's do that. Let's see, before I start doing this, say hey to everybody. Uh, oh, what's up? Oh, everybody's up in here. What's happening? What's up, everybody? Vishal? Robert? What, Robert's got the silver beauty dish? I love, I love the silver one. What's the f-stop difference? Uh, we're about to check and see what that f-stop difference is. So, let's see. I have the grid and the cloth. Nice, man. I'm so glad. I see everybody rocking these beauty dishes. So sweet. Let's do that. So first and foremost, let's do a light meter test. Okay, you can stay right there for just a second, kid. And that way you can see kind of the efficiency differences. They're not going to be massive, but making up power is still making up power, which is nice. So let's take this. I'm going to boom this out just a touch. Got this B10 Plus on this Avenger boom. Thing is one of my favorites. So let's get that boomed out there a little bit. I'm gonna try to not put this too far into the way of you guys looking at me. Let's get this out there. So let's start with the white beauty dish. Cool. And so I'm gonna boom this jammer up a little bit. There we go, get my air remote. I'm gonna use my uh, old school air remote uh, just because it's, I, I always like to keep this thing in my pocket with me. Uh, that way, like if I'm walking around doing something, I have all my control, especially when it comes to using my light meter. Um, and I know that I have a whole bunch of lights on right now, so I need to turn all that stuff off. So let's hit master. So we can, with this air remote, I can hit master and I can control everything at the same time. So let's just kill everything. Everything's off, and then turn master back on, group A. Perfect, so we should just have beauty dish. So standing on this mark right here, we're talking, and let's go full, let's go full power on the uh, B10 Plus, so. Just make sure. Yep, right there at the top, so we're at full power, 10. So if I meter this jammer at my camera settings, I, I keep the meter for the most part where my camera settings are. So I'm at uh, ISO 160 uh, and a shutter speed of 250th of a second. So we're talking with the white beauty dish, you're getting F16 and a half. So yeah, F16 and a half. So let's see how much more efficient the silver is. So let's knock that down. Like I said, we're probably about four, four feet away from the beauty dish. So, but it's 
it's all good information. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I love comparing these things. Whenever I can just kind of tinker and, and really learn why something is doing what it's doing, it's, I find that it's really fun. So let's, there we go, even that out. So here we go. Like I said, F16 and a half is where we were with the white beauty dish. We're gonna do this with the silver one. Oh, hold on a second. Mm. It's actually not that big of a jump. Make sure that I'm doing this right. I know that the, 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 I think maybe the flash head around the sides peeking because it's not it's not pointing right at me. So I think that might be probably the issue. Because once again, the silver's got more of a concentrated beam. I can see it not looking at me right. The silver's got more of a concentrated beam. So if I'm not like right in that beam, then I'm not actually gonna do much. So let's get back on my tape marker. Boom. Hmm. So it's, it's not showing too much of a makeup. Let me, Go back and look at this white one one more time because maybe I did something wrong. I know whenever I take my photos that I always have to increase my power output whenever I switch over to the white beauty dish. So let's also easy beauty dish install tip and trick is put your hand inside the beauty dish. It uh you can kind of just grab it and pop it into place. So that's a uh, little life hack for you if you were wondering. Just have to get that little jammer on there. Perfect. White. Make sure that my deflector is right where I had it. Because I have big clunky hands. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about the efficiency makeup, but I just feel like I always power up a little bit more. Oh. different. It's a stop different. Yeah. It's about, yeah. So we're metering with the full power B10 plus. I knew I wasn't crazy. Maybe I think I was actually clicking the wrong button on the light meter. <laughs> so classic Chris. So 11.1. There we go. Actually, it's 16.4. So maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm not so. I've been known to be crazy. So cool. So do what? Oh, it could be. It could be my hat. I'm not going to take it off and show you my nappy morning hair, though, or my nappy afternoon hair from wearing a hat all day. So you, you busters can just get right over that one. All right, cool. So I know those two lights are off. So what we're going to do, light power difference from when I was doing the meter reading, maybe a half a stop. I think that was a weird anomaly. Once again, I think I was pressing the wrong button on my light meter on, on that one where it dropped down significantly. So what we're gonna do is show you the actual beam spread differences and what it all looks like. So I have my other two lights off. I'm going to, and I'm actually um, not going to do it. This, this, more, this style right here with Caitlin would be more of a butterfly, butterfly style lighting. I'm gonna actually move it over kind of like a loop light uh, setup just so we can kind of see how it's going to fade off on the on the background a little bit. So I have been working on some videos for stuff, so I have like other like little video stuff kind of set up all over the joint. And I'm like bumping up against it. So cool. Got that there. Downsies. Cool. So let's go, let's go white beauty dish first. Because I think what you're going to see the difference uh, when we go to the silver and the way the background looks is pretty substantial. So let's go silver, or let's go white to start off. I'm going to meter this jammer out with Kate in here. All right, Kate, I'm ready for you whenever you are. Ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready to rock. Do you so, want to see what your computer? Uh, yeah, people are probably, probably going to want to see the shot because we're going to, I think one of the things people are going to see a lot is how different the background is. So while Kate's coming over here, let me see if you guys have any questions. Let's see. Hey everybody. My hat's always in the way, but yeah. Put your hat on backwards. Oh, that's a good move. Hat on backwards. There we go, for fun. For fun, there we go. I, I, I rarely ever wear my hat backwards, so I'm not even thinking about that kind of stuff. 
So, you ready, Kate? Yeah. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna meet her out with Kate right here. And then we are going to uh, look at the difference between these beauty dishes. So, come right here. Let's go, come a little bit forward right there, kind of to, towards the dot, and take a little shimmy to your left. Perfect. So, there we go. The light, just so you know, is probably three feet, maybe. Yeah, about three feet from Kate. Let's go meet her up. Oh, sorry, bumped you in the chin. <laughs> Let's. There we go, F8. So we're F8. So, and let's just keep track of the power level so we can also talk about that because we'll see if it changes. So right now with the white beauty dish on, to get F8, I'm at a, a setting of 6.7 on the B10 plus with a white beauty dish. So here we go. Let's. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, and my air remote's off because I'm a genius. Three, two, one. Perfect. White beauty dish. All right, stay right there, Kate. Let's go beauty dish off right here. Silver beauty dish. One of the things, too, you want to try to pay attention to is that uh, the deflector, you want to kind of put your face right around where your subject is, and the deflector is kind of what you're seeing because you don't want it to be tilted too much and start to getting, get light leaking out here from under the deflector because what can happen is that it can cause a sharp line to start broadcasting onto your subject. So you want to try to keep them in the deflector area. Pro tip from someone who has had that happen a couple of times. So it's pretty good. So once again, we were at, at a power level of 6.7. Let's meter for Kate to get it to get this shot because we're shooting F8 on the camera. Okay, so it's a half a stop up. So I actually have to pull back. Um, actually, it says 0. 0.6. So there we go, F8. So it's about a half a stop more output. So. That's probably a better version from what I just did. So here we go. Silver beauty dish, three, two, uno. Bop, cool. Give us just a second, Kate. We're gonna oh. compare these shots. So, let's go here and here. So first, you can you can hang oh, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're gonna compare the shots for a couple of seconds. I'm gonna try to get this beauty dish out of the way for a split second. So one of the things you can see straight up is, first and foremost, check out the background. And then check out Caitlin's hand. So on the white beauty dish, let's, uh, let's go here. This is even better. So on the white beauty dish, once again, because you're getting that large amount of coverage, like I said, 65% or 65 degree, look at, you, you, from, you know, from the hand, we have coverage up here to Kate's face. Whereas you start looking at the silver beauty dish, it starts to taper a whole lot more. You can tell the difference between like right here, the highlights on Caitlin's hand versus here, and then also the background. So you have a lot more coverage here on the background. You can actually kind of see the, the deflector plate right here to start to taper out. And you're starting to get a lot more white light coverage here on the background. So it's, it's lighting that more evenly, or it's, it's, it's giving more light to the background as well, just because once again, you're talking 65 degrees worth of coverage. Wherever, whenever you jump over here to the tighter silver beauty dish, once again, we made up a half a stop of light output. So I was able to drop down the B10 plus half of a stop. And then right here, you can see that it's not really hitting the background that much. Uh, it's, it's going dark over here just because clearly Caitlin's casting a shadow. Her hat starts to, to cast that shadow right over here. So it's it's really punchy and you can also tell too the the highlights on the silver just once again classic silver material finish modifiers have this punch to them and you can see right here around her face how contrasty it is the the blacks are really really rich but the the highlights really pop whereas over here with the white beauty dish it's a touch smoother so depending on what it is that you're going for if you like that pop i personally like that pop so i think that 
that snap of the silver beauty dish is really, really fantastic. What some people may try to do at this point, once again, if they were trying to get more coverage out of the silver, is they might start backing it up. And at that point, you really are going to start losing some of the characteristics of the beauty dish. So like right here, if I pull my loop up, you can see right here with the... Um, with the shadow under the nose, it still has a little bit of feathering. So you're getting a, a, a relatively soft light. The nice thing about a beauty dish is it does a cool job of bridging hard and soft light, but also with that deflector making it an indirect light source, it's just a really, really gorgeous light characteristic that you would normally get. The, once you start backing it up too much though, this, the, the little bit of feathering that's on that shadow there, or right here, the little bit of feathering that's on that shadow right there under Kate's neck is going to start to tighten up and tighten up more. And you're going to start losing, once again, the characteristics that make a beauty dish a beauty dish. So that's why you want to try to stay in that, you know, one to four foot range. If you want to touch more coverage, I shot, you know, what is this, a, a three quarter shot of Kate right here. And I'm doing fine with coverage with the white beauty dish. You, you may not get that snap from that silver, but if coverage is what it is that you're looking for, then you know the white beauty dish is going to do a jam up job. So let's now start talking about things that you can do for maybe you want to shoot a, more of a three quarter shot. You like that snap of that silver beauty dish, but so so what do you what can you do there? And that's where you can start adding in other modifiers. Like I said, we have the four by six right here in the background. And we're gonna use that as a gigantic fill. And we're gonna only, we're only gonna be about a half a stop lower on the fill than we are the main. So it should look really, really nice. Uh, you saw th that light setup is what you saw for the, the main card when the, the live popped up. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a, a white beauty dish and a silver beauty dish comparison with everything else set up. And that way you can see it with a little more fill and then you can also kind of you'll see still some, see some of that snap of the the silver beauty dish versus more of the smoothness that you get from the white beauty dish it's really really gorgeous stuff so let's set that up because i really enjoy it oh in the meantime let me see if you guys have any questions actually i'm sitting here gabbing and i haven't checked to see if you guys have any questions about what we just did let's see Oh, Nick, what was the degrees of coverage on the silver? If I'm not mistaken, it is, I said 24 degrees. It's 24 degrees. It's a pretty tight beam spread, Nick. Um, let's see. Chris, about the beauty dish on outdoor with a B10. I have super di difficult to use this high speed. Do you have any suggestions to get light? I shoot F2. So the tough thing about shooting with a beauty dish outdoor, especially depending on the time of the day that you're doing it, is they're not efficient modifiers. Once again, you're hitting a deflector plate and the light that you're relying on is light that's reflected. So you're trying to get light that hits a deflector plate, hits the edge of the beauty dish and pushes it out. It's not necessarily the best, most efficient use of a light outside. And then to top off the fact that whenever you go into high speed sync, there's an efficiency loss uh, because the way that light has the pulse to pulse to cover your frame, it's just not necessarily the most ideal modifier for shooting high speed sync, in my personal opinion. If, um, and, and I think it also depends too, like uh, if you give me a little more input, Julio, on like how far you're shooting from the subject. Because if you're starting to back it up a little bit more, um, I think if you were tighter, if you were maybe taking like a half body shots or head shots outside, you shouldn't have too much of a problem because you can get that beauty dish in there pretty close. But if you're starting to back that thing up and maybe you're taking, you know, three quarter length shots, maybe you're even trying for full body shots. I would say go with the Magnum reflector and here, let me grab one. I don't know if you've ever seen one, but the OCF Magnum reflector, super compact. But the nice thing is, is whereas a beauty dish is going to eat up a lot of light uh, for you, the OCF Magnum is going to actually give you more light output. So if you, once you start to kind of back that modifier up to the, I mean, think about this, like, you know, yeah, comparison size, you know, this is much larger, right? So it's going to give you some softer light. But if I take that same light, yeah, that's cool that it's here, but I have to start backing it up. In relationship to that subject, it's going to get smaller. So you might as well save yourself the efficiency. It's not going to be, the light quality is not going to be that much different between the two at the point that you start backing it up so much. So go with something like a Magnum Reflector. That's going to give you a lot more bang for your buck. 
uh, especially when you're fighting outside with high speed sync. So long winded answer, the silver is going to be hard, to, uh, a beauty is going to be hard to do it with. Can I get the same results with a silver and white OCF? Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know where my silver and white OCFs are. I would break them out and totally test it. But uh, yeah, I'm totally drawing a blank on where my silver and white OCFs are. Um, could you look really fast and just see if you see them anymore? Um, if we'll, we'll see, we'll see what they look like. But what we're going to do for this is we're going to set up, like I said, camera settings are 250 to the second ISO 100. Um, oh, you know what, Caitlin, they might be, uh, Hey, they might be right there next to the, um, next to the cases with the rest of the, um, beauty dishes. So we're going to be at F8, uh, 250th of a second, ISO 160. That's what we were metering at with the meter anyway. And we're going to work to get all of the, uh, the, obviously the scene to F8 because I want to shoot it at F8. And we're only going to be about a half a stop difference between the, um, the blah, 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 <laughs> the background light and, the, and, and your, your beauty dish. So I'm going to start getting that set up. So we're going to start with, the, I think we're gonna start with the white beauty dish again, just once, just so you can see the difference between. I, I just, I feel like the white's gonna give a lot more coverage. Any luck, Kate? Are we? No, sorry, man. Oh, good. Don't worry about it. No big deal. We can, um, we can always do it some other time. So, you know what I can do really fast though? Give me like three seconds of chitty chat with you. Um, the cool thing is a lot of the, the all the specs for all this stuff. Let's see if the beam angle changes with the um, with the OCS. I don't remember it doing that, but I could be totally wrong. Um, let's. I'm not seeing. I'm not. I don't think the OCF white and silver have a big beam angle difference inside the uh, with the actual dish themselves. Uh, I've never seen it. I'm just double checking to make sure that I'm not full of it because the chances of me being full of it are always very, very high. Yeah, so I'm not really seeing anything specification wise as to um, if the OCF is much different. I haven't really ever seen it whenever I play with them. They always seem relatively even in for the, as far as the coverage goes. That could be the fact that you have a little more variability with the OCF beauty dish where you can zoom it past the ring and, and kind of control how it hits the deflector. I don't necessarily know that one off the top of my head. Uh, it, the silver is still going to be punchy. So if you're, if you're looking for the snap of the silver, the silver is still going to give you that light characteristic that you're getting from this. I'm just not sure that you're going to get the focusing of that, that silver. I could be wrong, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, uh, Derek Davidson, OCF. Um, are you asking what does he mean by OCF? Because if you are, that we also make, so these are our silver hard reflector beauty dishes. We also make some collapsible OCF beauty dishes in silver and white that are really, really portable. They're, they're phenomenal uh, beauty dishes. So if that's what you mean, that's what he's talking about OCF. So cool. Let's bring in a bunch of lights. Let's do it crazy style. So one light's fun, three lights are funner. So once again, we're still going to keep the beauty dish off to the side a little bit because I want more of a, that, like I said, that loop style lighting more so than I would want like a butterfly style light for this. Uh, because like I said, I want you to see how it kind of falls off that background. I know I'm about to smack, there we go. Yep, I knew I was about to smack that boom mic. So if you guys heard that, I apologize. So, all right, cool. Kate, you ready to rock and roll? Oh yeah. Give me a uh, yeah, just computer, computer up, computer and wide shot or something. So I sat down my, I'm a hot mess, guys, just like I think everybody is right now. I set down my light meter and my, and my air remote. So I turned off all the other stuff just a second ago, so I'm going to hit master and hit head, and that way it flips everything back on. A1X is back on, which I'm going to use for a hair light, which is right there, uh, or she's wearing a hat, so a hat light. Um, and the nice thing is, is it's going to give me a little bit of light because I've got the dome diffuser on here. It's going to give me a little light kicked back over here to the background. So it's going to kind of fill this in just a touch. Uh, once again, four by six softbox turned horizontally. So it's six foot by four foot. So it's like a big wide window. And then we're going to start with the white beauty dish. 
So let's see where we're metering right now. I have a feeling, I know that, um, actually, you know what, we can do this, we can do this easier. Let's do all off, and then I know that I need to bring this light to 5.6. So we're just gonna do this quickly. Cool, so let's turn everything back on. Cool, so let's go one. There you go, F8, Dunsies. So we're, at, like I said, half a stop difference between um, the overhead light here, the, the main uh, OC, uh, main beauty dish and, and the background light. So here we go. So right here, Caitlin, this is a three light setup. Fill, hat light, and main. Three, two, one, white beauty dish. Boom. To bring your nose towards the beauty, there we go. I just don't want that light kind of hitting you on the nose. There we go. So that's white beauty dish, just stay right there. I know that I'm gonna get a half a stop light increase by going to the silver. And this is where you can start playing around with um, fill lights with the silver if you wanna shoot more full body stuff. This is where you're gonna start getting some more of that coverage on the outside. So I'm just gonna reach up here. Let's, better yet, let's just see where we're metering. Everything is, yep, we're half stop brighter. So let's go down. Boom, F8. So here we go with Silver Beauty Dish. Here we go, Kate. Nose towards the beat. There we go, right there. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Thank you. Sweet. So let's compare Silver Beauty Dish with some extra lights just for fill versus white. So once you start adding in things to get body coverage, uh, let me slide this jammer out of the way. There we go. Cool. Right on. So we have, let's go here so we can see large. So once again, you can see the snap between the two. The nice thing is the fill light is giving us a, a good amount of coverage on the body. It's pretty even at that point. The hand over here with the white beauty dish probably has a little bit more light on it. That's just because you're going to get more coverage with the white beauty dish itself. So it's a little more even top to bottom. Once again, you can tell by how, uh, how contrasty Caitlin's face and chest is that the light is definitely way more pointed than it is with the white beauty dish. So you're getting nice directional light. What I think is really cool for that for myself is it keeps the background pretty much the same color, whereas you can see with uh, the white beauty dish because that light is starting to infiltrate that background a little bit more because of the coverage. It's not necessarily um, what I want. Whenever I'm shooting like a colored background, I really want that color to like pop. So I think the nice thing about the silver is I'm able to contain that light. Granted, granted, you could always put a grid on the white beauty dish. You know what I should do? I should put a, I should put a grid on the white beauty dish and see how similar it is. You wanna see that, Caitlin? Should we do that? Let me take the grid, which is about the same um, diameter or uh, same light spread as the as the white beauty dish or as the um, silver beauty dish. So yeah, 25 degrees, so it's 24 degrees on the silver beauty dish. Let's see if it starts to look relatively similar because the cool thing is, you know, I still think that the the highlight that you get from the silver beauty dish is going to have a little more punch. But if you're looking for control and that's all you care about is control and you like the smoothness of the white, this, the grid's always going to be your answer. So let's swing this back out here because nothing else has really changed other than that. I need to power this up a half of a stop because I know that for a fact after that debacle. All right, Kate, I'm ready for you. So cool, white beauty dish, 25 degree grid, microphone smack. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just being very unkind. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very thoughtful. <laughs> so right on. So here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let me just make sure the honeycomb grid is pointed at Caitlin. There we go. 
I don't want it pointed so much to the background. Can you see inside that? Can you see the, the light? Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't look too... Yeah, that's exactly where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So here it is with the grid. Three, two, one. Cool. Thank you, Caitlin. You're welcome. So let's compare the three because that's fun. Let me see if you guys have any questions while I'm bringing this up. Cool. So there's the three shots. Let me oh, yeah, I'm here. See if you guys have any questions before I start talking about this stuff. Let's see. Uh, Albert wants to know what type of light meter am I using? It's the Sakonic, like super transformer, like yeah, it's like a robot in disguise. It's um the L eight fifty eight DU. I don't know. Uh, I use it for cinema stuff and for um. Hey, Caitlin, someone wants me to do the silver with the grid on it. Just just. To make sure we have the have the um, the comparison, so let's just do it while while we're going to talk about these things. So cool. Let me get silver. This is fun, guys. I like experimenting with you guys and and really kind of diving in and out of this stuff. I think it's neat. Um, beauty dishes are fun. Is this was the uh, I think a beauty dish was the second modifier I ever owned. Whenever I started lighting, the first thing I ever had was. Uh, oh no, I take it back. It was my third, it was the third thing ever. And I had like an umbrella. I think umbrella is just the natural way to start. And then uh, I went with like a two by three softbox, which I still have to this day and I need to get rid of it uh, because it's old. I actually don't even think I have the speed ring for it. And then I got a beauty dish, a silver beauty dish. So sweet. So we're silver. I'm going to bring the power back to where it was. Actually, I should meter it. I'm trying to do this the lazy man way, and lazy man way is not the way of doing this. Yep. There we go. Now we have F8 on the silver. I didn't meter for the white beauty dish, I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Perfect. Thanks, Kate. You good. No, it, it took. The, sec the second one took. The first one did that weird misfire thing. So cool. I've had this, uh, I did this firmware update on my camera and it does this funky misfire thing. Like, like I'll half press to focus and then I'll get this, uh, it's like it tries to take a natural light shot. It doesn't fire the sink or anything. It's really funky. Maybe somebody knows what this is. Um, cause I don't know. Like I get these weird little things. So if you know, send me a message and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Cause the chances of me doing something wrong are, are pretty good. Let's go here. What's up, Derek? Oh, these, oh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it, man. This is, this is a lot of fun for me too. So here's all four together. Um, so we have white beauty dish, multi-light setup, three lights. So we have a fill, a little bit of a, a little bit of a hat light, if you will, uh, silver beauty dish. Then we have the white beauty dish gridded, silver beauty dish gridded. Granted, once again, I probably did a no-no with the uh, white one the white beauty dish and I did not meter and I feel like it's a touch under and I'm gonna cheat by a touch. You know what? Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit so maybe we can tell the differences. There we go. So I brought it up because yeah because I brought the silver one up another half a stop from the grid because I needed the power so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the silver for the white, just to see if we can tell the difference. So the nice thing about the white is, once we went to the grid, I maintained that background that I wanted. And it even actually vignetted a little bit because it's starting to, it's starting to spot itself out. So I started, I, I kept that consistent background that I wanted. So if you want the smoothness of the white, then maybe you just go white beauty dish with the grid because you're, you're maintaining some of that. I personally just like that, the snap of the silver, like this little bit of, Hold on me. I'm gonna zoom these in just a touch. There we go, that's, that's Mo Betta. So I like the snap of the silver personally. The, the grid for me muddled it a touch, um, but I don't, necessarily, I don't necessarily know that the grid on the silver is important because the beam spread difference between the two themselves is almost the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, 
with the grid, you start to get a little bit more of a vignette. Oh, what did I do? Did I, did I click off of it? Oh, no, I, I, I moved my cursor over the side. With the silver, you start to vignette a little bit more around the edges, which I don't love. With that colored background, for me personally, I want to keep that pretty even edge to edge. I think that's what's kind of cool. The white beauty just started doing that a little bit, but once again, a little bit of a vignette here around the edges. Not my favorite go-to. Um, so it just depends on, on what it is that you like. Do you want a little more punch on the subject, on the thing that you're focusing your beauty dish on? Or do you want the evenness? Do you want the smoothness? Do you want to touch more coverage top to bottom? Then maybe the white beauty dish is the move. Um, and then if you want to control a little bit more on that background, then boom. You know, maybe you go to a gridded white beauty dish. So there's a lot of ways that you can go with this, which is kind of which, which is super fun. I mean, you can you can explore around with it. I you know I'm I'm always fascinated by all this stuff. Oh, let's, let's go back down here. So there we go. So that's the silver and that's the silver beauty dish. So let's go to restreams. If you guys have any questions before I sign out of this thing, hello. Uh, oh, hey Robert, thanks. What's up? Oh yeah, hey Robert, reach out to me anytime. If you have any questions about anything, whether it be how we're doing the live broadcast or whatever. Shoot me a message. Love to, love to talk to you. So, uh, so is the difference in spread? So yeah. So Robert, if you go and look at the light spread difference, they're gonna say based with the pro head. Um, I don't. I wouldn't know how to measure the degrees anyway. Uh, without a, fl I would do it for you right now, but I don't know how to do it. I know that the degree spread is like from the center. Like they measure, I think from the center to the edge, both sides, and then you, um, and then you get the degree from there. So from where, from the center to where you lose one stop of light to the edge, that's how they measure the degree uh, spread. I don't know if that's from here to here or from center to edge. So I don't necessarily know how to measure that for you, but yeah, they, they rate it with the pro head. Uh, it used to not, when it was, um, the, the measurement used to be a little bit different at one point in time, or else I just don't remember the numbers. And we might have measured that with the flathead at some point in time. Like I said, lowest guy at the totem pole. I don't ever always know this stuff. I just know the information that I've given. So let's see. What's up, India? What's up? Um, cool. Thanks, guys. Well, oh, is it possible to mind us which one? Yeah, 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 totally. Let's do it. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, what, hold on, let me see what you said. Is it possible to remind us one is one, two, three, four with white silver? Yeah, yeah, so here. So one, two, three, four. So let's zoom this out really fast before I sign out so you can see it. So first shot here, white beauty dish, nothing on it. Second shot here, silver beauty dish, nothing on it. Third shot right here, white beauty dish gridded with a 25 degree grid. <clears throat> Third shot here, Silver Beauty Dish gridded, um, and, and there's no diffusion socks on it or anything like that. So, so those are the difference between those are the the, the three different uh, ones. I think you can go in here really quack, qu uh, quack, really quack and rename them. Uh, I'm just not gonna bother with that right now. So let's let's see. Let's oh, we went back to another shoot for another video that I'm working on for you guys. Let's jump down here. Let's see. All right, restream. All right, I'm going to sign out of this thing. Let's see if you guys have any questions before I roll out. South Africa in the house. Holy smokes. Where can you find my contact info? Um, you can just... So I'm, my name is Chris Fain. You can just find me here on Facebook and just shoot me a Facebook message. Um, I would give you my... I would say my email out loud, but I feel like that would be a terrible thing to do. I feel like I would regret that immensely. So... <laughs> Just shoot me a Facebook message. And any, anybody can shoot me a Facebook message. If you want to hear or if you want to see me compare something else or if you want to see some other kind of video, something that you really, really like, shoot me a message. We'll talk about it. I've got a, a lot of stuff that we can, we can try and see what works and what doesn't work. So hopefully this was awesome information for everybody. Thank you so much for kicking it with me, hanging out. Um, uh, hopefully everybody's staying safe. Uh, everybody's healthy. Uh, yeah, I hope you're all well. So in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Do something cool. Yeah, have some fun with some photography stuff, man. Take some self-portraits. Grab somebody close to you who doesn't want to have their picture taken and make them sit down. Uh, 
just have fun with it. So if you guys, like, once again, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a Facebook message. Be more than happy to talk to you about whatever you want to talk about. In the meantime, have an awesome weekend. See you later.